Hello. We're gonna do an experiment that involves a rocket. But there's only one catch. We're not just gonna set it on fire so it will go up in the air. We're gonna use someone that can help us. Hello. We're gonna do an experiment that involves a rocket. But there's only one catch. So you're probably wondering what kind of rocket we're using. There it is. The exploding crayon first established in Soviet Russia and it was in 1939. We added a little bit of our extra parts we got from our car to give it extra boost. And you're probably wondering, who's gonna help us with this experiment? We got the right person and he's a runner. This is Mako and he is our runner. And you're expecting, like, what, what would a runner do in an experiment like this that has to involve a rocket? Well, Mako wants to break his four minute time to a three minute time in the mile. How can he do this? Well, we do have a rocket, we do have a runner. So what we're gonna do is tape the rocket to Mako's arms and we're gonna ignite it and we'll see how fast Mako could really go. Side here. Oh, wait, you can do it on my back. On your mark, get set, go. This precise moment, we will start this rocket in three, two, one. Wait a minute. Mako! Mako, stop! Oh, um, oh my gosh. Yes! Coach, what time did I get? Um, so, how do you think you did? I, I, th I thought I went pretty fast. The bad news is, the rocket did not work. <laughs> the good news is, you just broke your tongue! You got two fifties! Oh my god! So, it was, a, it was a tremendous experiment. The rocket didn't work, but who cares? He broke his mile time. He got a 250 on the mile. It's, a, it's amazing. Oh my god. Tune out next time where we'll do another experiment. Let's hope it doesn't fail. And he's gonna start. Perfect position. Perfect uh, throw! Unbelievable! Papa Stalin will be so proud! <laughs>